Mocha Mint. Hello and welcome. Today's video tutorial, I am going to show you another coffee trio. And this is a very special treat because instead of making just a regular mocha, we are going to make mocha mint. And mint is associated with Christmas. I remember that each Christmas time, I normally get this chocolate mint. And what is better than chocolate mint? It is coffee with chocolate and with mint. But today's mocha mint is very special because it is going to be a triple treat. It's going to be strong coffee, it's going to be white chocolate, and it's going to be a mint mousse. So perfect coffee trio with triple treat. What it gives you is that beautiful mocha, white chocolate mocha topped with mint. I prefer my mocha mint to have just a hint of mint, not too overpowered by the mint itself. And this recipe absolutely tastes delicious. As usual, we are going to make three white chocolate mocha mint. We are going to make use of instant coffee. You can use any brand that you like. And also we are going to use cold brew coffee or you can use the normal drip coffee. Make sure it is the concentrated version. And for that, I'm using my own blend of Italian roast coffee beans. On top of the coffee, we are going to use fresh milk. You can use any brand, make sure it is a full cream milk. But if you prefer low fat milk or almond or soy milk or any other milk substitutes, that's also perfect. I'm going to use my own homemade white chocolate. If you don't have a homemade white chocolate, you may also use a commercially available white chocolate. I have here a Da Vinci white chocolate sauce. And for the mint, I'm going to use another local mint, which is using Long Beach. For the equipment that you will need to make this delicious coffee treats, if you are using instant coffee, all you need is just a kettle to boil your water. If you are using cold brew, you may simply use a French press or you may put it in a pitcher and then strain it with a tea sock strainer. If you're using espresso, of course, you will need a good quality espresso machine. I have tried all three different types of white chocolate mocha that I made earlier using three different types of coffee and this time I really have no clear favorite. They all taste equally good. So it simply is down to what is available to you in terms of coffee, in terms of equipment. Let's have a look at how we made this three delicious white chocolate mocha mint. Starting with our mint flavored mousse, 60 grams of our whipping cream powder, Add very cold water. This time I'm using a cup filled with ice to make sure that it is very cold. Add your mint syrup. Use any brand that you have available to you and start whipping. I suggest that you use a chilled bowl so that the whipping process will take faster. And also the resulting whipped cream will be stable for a longer period of time. So whip until you get the desired consistency. Don't give up. You have to be very patient. Keep whipping. Nearly there. So for this, I suggest that you use a hand mixer. It is faster to whip. When you reach this consistency, stop. This is perfect to pour over your ice drink. If you want it to be a bit thicker, then you might have to whisk it a bit longer, but this is perfect for me. Now let's pull our espresso. For the espresso, because we use freshly ground coffee beans, then it tastes absolutely delicious and aromatic. For this recipe, I am going to use a very strong espresso. That means I am going to use two shots of coffee with four ounces of espresso or one half cup. Let's start with our white chocolate mocha mint using instant coffee. Two teaspoons of instant coffee, any brand will do. One half cup of hot water.
And for this, I'm using only 15 ml of fresh milk because I'm topping it up with mint mousse and 45 ml of white chocolate. So this is what makes the flavor different. So give it a good stare. On to our next coffee, cold brew coffee. So once again, one half cup of cold brew coffee, 15 ml of fresh milk, and 45 ml of white chocolate. So I'm using the same recipe across the board, regardless of what type of coffee you are using. So give it a good stare and once again we will set it aside moving on to our last type of coffee espresso so one half cup of very strong espresso oops bear with me i wanted to get the creme as well And once again, 15 ml of fresh milk and 45 ml of white chocolate. Give it a good stare. And that is our final coffee mix. Three white chocolate mocha drinks. Now let's just make sure they're all properly combined. Let's use our milk frother to froth the mixture and also get that foamy top. Easy enough to use a milk frother because to clean it, all you have to do is to dip it in water and onto your next cup. There you go. Done with three mocha drinks. Time to finish them all up and serve. Finally, the icing on the cake, mint mousse. You can use a piping bag or you can simply scoop up the mousse on top of your drinks. Absolutely delightful. This will make sure that your mocha will only have a hint of mint as opposed to very minty. There you have it, three delicious white chocolate mocha mint, ready to serve for the holidays. Enjoy. Happy holidays to one and all. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.